Good morning. Good morning. Well, I, call to, I call to order the meeting of the Philadelphia City Commissioners Board of Elections for Wednesday, October the 2nd, 2024. This meeting is in compliance with the Pennsylvania Sunshine Act. The Philadelphia City Commissioners are a three-member bipartisan board of elected officials in charge of elections and voter registration for County Philadelphia. Each commissioner is elected to serve a four-year term that coincides with the municipal election cycle for mayor and city council. The commissioners set and enforce departmental policies to administer voter registration and conduct elections in accordance with federal and state voter registration and election laws. The city commissioners were created by the Pennsylvania Assembly in 1711 with a focus on taxation and held various regulatory powers throughout the centuries. The commissioners started maintaining voter lists in 1799 and took on more election-related responsibilities, but didn't emerge into its current form until the adaption of Philadelphia Home Rule Charter in 1951. We will start off with public comments. Before beginning their comments, commenters shall state where they live or if they are not a resident of Philadelphia and that they are a Philadelphia taxpayer. Public comment is not an opportunity for dialogue or Q&A. It is public comment, a chance for you to tell us what you think. Each speaker will have two minutes to speak. However, I may extend the time in my discretion. Public comment must concern matters on today's meeting agenda. Finally, it is my responsibility to preserve the order and decorum of meetings as such. Profane, slanderous, discriminatory, or personal tax will not be tolerated. If you wish to make a public objection to a perceived Sunshine Act violation, please raise your hand and I will recognize you. Outbursts will not be tolerated. Anyone wishing to offer public comment, please step forward. Hearing none, we will now move to a report from Secretary Seth Bluestein. Commissioner Bluestein, are there any email public comments? There were no email public comments as of 9.45 a.m. Thank you very much. We will now proceed to old business. First, we have a report from our Directors of Election and Administrations and Operations, Mr. Joseph Lynch and Ms. Stephanie Reed. Joe, we'll start with you. Morning, Commissioners. Morning, Good morning Joe. This is our sunshine update for October 2nd, 2024. The warehouse unit has been preparing to get the machines ready for the general election and completing testing of the machines. For our voter registration report, the election cycle to date, we have processed 327,190 vote, voter registration applications. 175,250 of those applications were paper. As of right now, they have a backlog of 1,300 applications. Delaware and Spring Garden is currently working to eliminate the backlog along with making any necessary corrections. As of Tuesday, they have approved 154,811 vote by mail and absentee applications, which is, additional, which is 10,574 added from last week's total. Of those, 80,226 are paper applications and 74,585 are electronic applications. This includes military, civilian, overseas, and federal voters. They currently have a total of 2,669 applications waiting to be processed. Of those, 1,500 are paper applications, and 1,169 are electronic applications. As of October 1st, we have sent out over 153,000 vote-by-mail ballots for the 2024 general elections. Voter voters who have not yet receive their ballots or need a replacement can visit our website to request a replacement ballot or can visit, can visit one of our satellite election offices for assistance. ID verification letters have gone out to voters that either did not include the required proof of identification on their absentee slash mail-in ballot applications or their proof of identification could not be verified by the County Board of Elections office. Voters who have received this letter may submit their proof of ID to the County Board of Elections via email at phillyelection at philly.gov, fax, U.S. mail, telephone, or in person. Voters have until 5 p.m. on November 12th to return their proof of identification for the election. 
Our satellite office in City Hall, room 140, is now open. Voters can request a mail-in or replacement ballot in person and return it all at the same, same visit. Office hours are Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturday and Sunday, 10 to 4. Voters who would like to vote by mail for the November 5th election can apply for a mail-in or absentee ballot at vote.phila.gov. The deadline to apply is Tuesday, October 29th at 5 p.m. The poll in place unit is working on confirming locations for the November 5th election. Presently, they have confirmed 361 of 367 private locations. Public, public locations have been approved aside from any rebuild projects. They are also going to any new proposed locations that are suggested. Hearings are being set up in advance as confirmation to proposals to come back. We are in constant contact with the war leaders and the community to a complete task. Signs, are, signs for the upcoming hearings are posted as well. The election board unit is working on confirming board workers through calls and emails. They have confirmed 6,836 6, confirmed so far, but 1,133 have declined, and they have left 593 voicemails. In, general, in the general election training sessions, 1,132 board workers attended, and 2,308 confirmed for scheduled trainings. For the satellite office, we continue to serve the citizens of Philadelphia with voter services at satellite election offices, and we want to remind voters that they can visit any site no matter where in the city they live. We have a total of seven satellite offices open to the public seven days a week. This week we had a grand opening press event for District 7 Satellite Election Office at 2739 North Fish Street. The event was attended by the media, by, the, by media, election officials, and community partners. For District 9, 6233 North Broad, Broad Street, the grand opening is tomorrow, 10-3 at 9 a.m. We have two more satellite offices to open, in this, one's in the second councilmatic district and one's in the sixth councilmatic district. And our goal is to open them by the second week of October. You can find a list of the satellite election offices open to the public in hours on our website at vote.phila.gov. Thank you. That's all I have. Uh, thank you, Chair. <laughs> Did you have any questions? I have none. Thank you. Secretary, do you have any questions? I have none. Thank you. Um, just over with the paper applications for the vote by mail, right? Is that number like higher than it was? You think in 2020, or is it kind of like up par? Like we're oh, I was, I don't know, but I would say it's lower. This number is lower. Yeah, for, yeah, than it would be in 2020 okay. because of uh, COVID. Yep. Okay. All right. Good morning, commissioners. Pleased morning. to address you today and share updates from our administration report for October 2nd, 2024. We are all happy for certification of the special election on Monday. And with that behind us, the majority and the majority of our satellite office is open. Our team has turned their attention to the general election. In budget and procurement, the team is focused on normal processing of invoices and purchase orders, addressing any related issues as they arise. We had a productive meeting with the procurement department to review all outstanding purchases, and I just want to say how much we appreciate their support getting everything through. In communications, we've been designing requested materials, including social media graphics, updated procedural documents, and updated poll worker materials. Requested updates were also completed for the citizens' handbooks, the department's atlas tool, and various website pages. Additionally, we've been planning for general election communications, including sessions with our consultants and providing input for the paid media campaign. Regarding engagement, we're distributing materials at International Bakery, Hong Fong Food Market, Fried Chicken Pie Restaurant, China Gourmet, Number One Asia Supermarket, and C1 Bakery and Cafe. Our efforts also involve sharing flyers for poll workers and interpreters, encouraging voter registration, recruiting bilingual interpreters, and engaging with the community through feedback and questions at events. We've also been identifying hair salons, temples, or churches where we can distribute election materials in the following two weeks. <clears throat> Excuse me. In human resources, we're currently hiring for 30 temps. 
As of now, our total workforce stands at 211 employees with 177 in civil service and 34 exempts. This includes 56 clerk ones, 34 clerk twos, 17 clerk threes, 10 trades helpers, nine voting machine techs, and 30 temps. We're continuing with new hire activities and preparing for upcoming orientation. Our IT team has shifted to work for the general election, including police route routes for election night and polling place optimization analysis. They continue to work on setting up all IT components for our satellite election offices, and they've been updating surveys and sign-up forms, posting notices, and maintaining our website. Um, I also just want to note that yesterday I was with our Director of Safety and Security at a tabletop exercise that was hosted by the Philadelphia Police. And um, we got a lot of compliments on the work that we have done so far to bring all the groups together and the planning that we've done, um, which was really nice. And we appreciate the police department hosting that tabletop for us. Um, it's hard to believe that October is already here. Our staff is laser focused on the tasks they need to complete to be ready for the election. And I want to say thank you to our partners and staff who've been working hard to ensure we're prepared. And that's it. Thank you. Uh, Vice Chair Dillon, did you have any questions? I have none, thank you. Secretary Bluestein? I have none, thank you. I have none either. Thank, thank you. you. We will now proceed to new business. We will begin by considering our first agenda item. Am I like this time of year? Oh, yeah, okay. I didn't say yeah, dude. I just wonder what. But I moved to hire Tommy Matea as the Deputy Director for Voting Machines, Materials, and Logistics. Is there a second? Second. Commissioners, do you have any comments on this item before we vote? I have none. I have none. All right. Secretary Bluestein, please go to roll. Vice Chair Dealey. Abstain. I vote aye. Chairman Sabir. Aye. Motion passes. Okay. We will now move to polling place changes. Good morning, Commissioners. Good morning, I have 23 man. changes to report on. The first one will oh, be in the quick, second. Charlie, oh, why don't you just say your name for the record? Uh, so Charles Stroman. Okay. So I have 23 changes to report on. The first one will be in the second ward in the 26th division, moving out of Shot Tower Rec to the Old Pine Community Center, and that is for voter convenience. Having heard the recommendation of professional staff, I move that we accept the polling place change for Ward 2, Division 26. Is there a second? Second. Does any commissioners have any comments before we vote? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I just want to applaud Charlie and his staff. I know this, this has been a long time coming, this change. So thank you very much. Go You're on. welcome. Sure. Uh, Secretary Bluestein, please call the roll. Vice Chair Dealey. I vote aye. I vote aye. Chairman Sevier. Aye. Please proceed. The next one will be in the fifth ward in the 26th division, moving out of the old First Reform Church to the Arden Theater, and that is moving into its own division. Having heard the recommendation of professional staff, I move that we accept the polling place change for Ward 5, Division 26. Is there a second? Second. Any comments before this uh, vote? I have none. I have none. Secretary Bluestein, please call the roll. Vice Chair Dealey. I vote aye. I vote aye. Chairman Sabir. Aye. Motion passes. Please proceed. Next one will be in the 8th Ward, the 19th Division, moving out of Moore College of Art and Design to the Atria Senior Living. That is back to the original location and in its own division. Having heard the recommendation of professional staff, I move that we accept the polling place change for Ward 8, Division 19. Is there a second? Second. Does anyone have any comments before we vote? I have none. I have none. Secretary Bluestein, please call the roll. Vice Chair Dealey. I vote aye. I vote aye. Chairman Sabir. Aye. 
Motion passes. Charlie, please proceed. Next one, there's three of them. In the 11th Ward, the 2nd Division, the 7th Division, and the 20th Division, moving out of Allegheny West Foundation back to the North Philadelphia Municipal Building. That is back to the original location. Having heard the recommendation of the professional staff, I move that we accept the polling place change for Ward 11, Divisions 2, 7, and 20. Is there a second? Second. Does anyone have any comments before we vote? I have none. I have none. Secretary Bluestein, please go to roll. Vice Chair Dealey. I vote aye. I vote aye. Chairman Sabir. Aye. Please proceed. Next two will be in the 21st Ward, the 10th Division and the 18th Division, moving out of Journey's Way back to the Kendrick Rec Center, and that is basically due to overcrowding. Both them places are within the same division, but it's much too crowded, so we split it up. Having heard the recommendation of professional staff, I move that we accept the polling place change for Ward 21, Division 10 and 18. Is there a second? Second. Does anyone have any comment before we vote? I have none. I have none. Secretary Bluestein, please call the roll. Vice Chair Dealey. I vote aye. I vote aye. Chairman Sabir. Aye. Please proceed. Next one will be in the 21st Ward again in the 43rd Division, moving out of Summit Parks Apartments Clubhouse back to the Endor Branch Library, and that is back to the original location and also in its own division. Having heard the recommendation of professional staff, I move that we accept the polling place change for Ward 21, Division 43. Is there a second? Second. Does anyone have any comment before we vote? I have none. I have none. Secretary Bluestein, please go to roll. Vice Chair Dealey. I vote aye. I vote aye. Chairman Sabir. Aye. Please proceed. Next one will be in the 22nd Ward, the 4th Division, moving out of Emlyn Arms Apartments to the Germantown Jewish Center, and that's back to the original location. Having heard the recommendation of professional staff, I move that we accept the polling place change for Ward 22, Division 4. Is there a second? Second. Does anyone have any comment before we vote? I have none. Secretary Bluestein, please go to roll. Vice Chair Dealey. I vote aye. I vote aye. Chairman Sabir. Aye. Please proceed. Next three will be in the 25th Ward, 11th Division, 16th Division, and the 22nd Division, moving out of Richmond Elementary School back to Cahoxon Rec Center, and that's basically due to overcrowding, but they're back to their original location. Having heard the recommendation of professional staff, I move that we accept the polling place change for Ward 25, Division 11, 16, and 22. Is there a second? Second. Does anyone have any comment before we vote? I have none. Secretary? I have none. Please call the roll. Vice Chair Dealey. I vote aye. I vote aye. Chairman Sabir. Aye. Please proceed. Next one will be in the 29th Ward, the 8th Division, moving out of Shoreswood Townhouses 2 to the Vaux Picture School, which is a PHA building, and it's going to be moved into its own division. Having heard the recommendation of the professional staff, I move that we accept the polling place change for Ward 29. Division 8, is there a second? Second. Are there any comments? None. I have none. Secretary Bluestein, please call the roll. Vice Chair Dealey. I vote aye. I vote aye. Chairman Sabir. Aye. Please proceed. Next two will be in the 36th Ward, the 11th Division, and the 31st Division, moving out of 2nd Nazareth Missionary Church to the Aquinas Center, and that is due to the church closed. Having heard the recommendation of professional staff, I move that we accept polling place change for Ward 36, Division 11 and 31. Is there a second? Second. Does anyone have any comments? No comment. I have none. Secretary Bluestein, please call the roll. Vice Chair Dealey. I vote aye. I vote aye. Chairman Sabir. Aye. Please proceed. Next one is in the 36th Ward again, the 32nd Division, moving out of D. Finnegan Rec Center to the Arlene Thorpe Townhouses, and that's moving it into its own division. Having heard the recommendation of professional staff, I move that we accept the polling place change for Ward 36, Division 32. Is there a second? Second. Any comments? No comment. I have none. Secretary Bluestein, please call the roll. Vice Chair Dealey. I vote aye. I vote aye. Chairman Sabir. Aye. Please proceed. Next one is in the 39th Ward, the 46th Division, moving out of East Passion Community Center to the International Bethel Church and that's moving in its own division. Having heard the recommendation of professional staff, I move that we accept the polling place change for 
War 39, Division 46. Is there a second? Second. Anyone have any comments? No comment. I have none. Secretary Bluestein, please call the roll. Vice Chair Dealey. I vote aye. I vote aye. Chairman Sabir. Aye. Please proceed. Next one is at the 42nd Division. I'm far, sorry, the 42nd Ward, the 19th Division, moving out of Triumph Faith International back to the Zeiler Rec Center, and that's in its own division. Having heard the recommendation of the professional staff, I move that we accept the polling place change for Ward 42, Division 19. Is there a second? Second. Are there any comments before we vote? No comment. I have none. Secretary Bluestein, please go out of roll. Vice Chair Dealey. I vote aye. I vote aye. Chairman Sabir. Aye. Please proceed. The next four is in the 58th Ward, 12th Division, 33rd Division, 34th Division, and 38th Division. Moving out of low school back to the synagogue, Congregation Beth Solomon at 198 Tomlinson Road, and that is back to the original location. Having heard the recommendation of professional staff, I move that we accept the polling place change for Ward 58, Division 12, 33, 34, and 38. Is there a second? S second. Does anyone have any comment before we vote? None. I have none. Secretary Bluestein, please call the roll. Vice Chair Dealey. I vote aye. I vote aye. Chairman Sabir. Aye. Motion passes. Thank you, Charlie. You're welcome. You got anything else, Charlie? That's it. Yeah, that's, that's working. We got through it pretty quick. I'm out of breath. Thank oh, you, Charlie. There we go. Okay. So are there any other non-energy item, non, non item agendas to be brought on for this meeting? I have none. I have none. Okay, that was easy. Hearing no other business, a motion that we adjourn today's meeting. Is there a second? Second. Secretary Bluestein, please call the roll. Vice Chair Dealey. I vote aye. I vote aye. Chairman Sabir. Aye. This meeting is adjourned. <laughs>